after a record season and a highly competitive championship meet, the LSU Tigers are the 2017 SEC champions. So today I'm joined by sophomore McKenna Kelly, who's going to talk to me more about winning that coveted title. Now, McKenna, LSU was the favorite heading into that meet, but with the SEC championship, anything can happen. So what was the team's approach heading into that meet? Um, I think we had been prepared, um, you know, with um, what the coaches have been taking us through this whole season. Um, and we, we kind of just went in with um, just an aggressive mentality. Um, I mean, honestly, you go in knowing you've already beaten these, these teams through the regular season. So um, that was nice to know, but um, she gave us that extra confidence. But I think um, the most important thing what, for us was just to go in and um, just do what we know what to do. Um, don't worry about the scores um, and just kind of focus on us just being our team. And you mentioned the regular season. LSU had already claimed the regular season title, and then you're able to bring the trophy home after the championship meet. What would you say winning both of those titles represents for this team? Just, I think, like our mantra, all heart. Um, it just kind of goes to show, I mean, well, one, this record hasn't been um, a thing since 1981, so um, for us to go in and do that and um, just kind of um, rewrite the program with the help of the coaches. Um, it's It's been immaculate, and um, um, I just really think all heart really defines it. This was the first time LSU won the championship since 1981. Put us in your shoes. What was the experience like to win that title? It. I, I tell everyone this. It was just, it was such a dreamlike state. Um, I just, like, standing there and um, high-fiving your teammates, um, just the way the lights hit our leotards, and it was, everything was just, picture perfect. Um, it couldn't have gone any better. It was, um, it was such an experience. Now winning that conference title is such an accomplishment, but I know this team has big goals in store for the rest of the season. What are you guys focusing on as postseason continues? Pedal to the metal. Um, we're taking, we're not taking anything light. Um, every practice is, um, you know, we're looking for those little details. We're looking for those landings we can hit and those handstands. Um, you know, we, we know what our final destination is and we're going to do what it takes to get there. After everything that the team has already accomplished and knowing what you know about this team, what do you think it's going to take to win a national title? Um, a lot of guts, um, and I think that's what our team has. Um, we are aggressive. We are all heart. Um, we give it our all, and um, our coaches give it right back. And um, I think we go in there, we do what we know what to do, um, focus on us, and we've got it. Now, I know that LSU had someone else that they were competing for at SEC's, a very special little girl named Gracie. Can you tell me a little bit about her and the bond that this team has created with her? So Gracie's a fighting tiger. Um, she was recently diagnosed with an inoperable brain tumor, and uh, we were lucky enough to um, have the chance to meet her before we went off to SEC's. And uh, she came in the gym, we showed her around, and um, her dream was to be an LSU tiger and um, on this gymnastics team, so that's what, exactly what we did. Um, she's part of our team, and um, we're truly lucky and honored to um, have met such an incredible little girl. We will definitely be keeping Gracie and her family in our thoughts and prayers. McKenna, congratulations on being an SEC champion. I know that has to be great to hear. And we'll be cheering you guys on through the rest of postseason. Thank you, Taylor.